Hey guys, Slimmer today. Ah! And today we'll be looking at Steven Crowder's videos. Let's get right into this. <laughs> Question of the day, why do you think the media is so dead set on vilifying straight white males? Uh, they don't hate straight white males. In fact, they're probably run by straight white males. Uh, Fox News, owned by Rupert Murdoch, straight white male. CNN, owned by Ted Turner, straight white male. Comcast owns NBC. I don't remember the Comcast CEO's name, but he is a, guess what? Straight white male. So, like, all the major media, pretty much, or major media companies are owned by straight white males. So why would they hate straight white males? Like, look, I don't suddenly assume fucking you, you hate fucking women or black people or whatever because you show some Antifa thing. Like... Jesus Christ. And, and downplaying the real dangers of ugly ideologies. Now we can what do you mean by that, Crowder? Because that's what I'm trying to figure out. What, what do you mean by that? Because are you saying that they're not putting enough emphasis on how terrible white supremacy is? Or are you saying, like, I don't know, white supremacy isn't a ugly ideology? Because you're saying the second one, that's fucked up. I don't know if that's what you're saying. That's why I'm asking. If somebody in the comments could maybe let me know, I'd love that. But however... Are you saying they aren't doing it enough? Are you saying white supremacy isn't an ugly ideology? What are you saying? We can document it. We will in this segment that it's happening. We can posit theories. But wh why do you think it's the case? Comment below. I want to hear from you. Of course, this ties into the Unite the Right rally, even though I don't think any of us got the memo. Yeah. Poorly it's more of a meetup. Organized. Yeah, it's more yeah. of a really <laughs> poorly more organized meetup. Meet so about 20 or 30 white supremacists who met up in March this weekend, um, along with hundreds of cops, hundreds of members of the media, and thousands of Antifa members, of course, yeah. who were threatening to beat up said cops and the media. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, had my, I had my Google Home set up to read liberal sources first. So I think Crowder is saying that to make himself look better. It doesn't really make himself look better at all. You already are going in there with, I guess, a bias in your head. Listening to a liberal source first, just like if I were to go listen to a conservative source first, you should listen to what you would want to listen to bias because no matter what, you're not going to get rid of a bias. It's uh, uh, Biases are natural. However, you should want to find something like, I don't know, that's not info wars or something. Something you can verify is true. It may be biased, but you can at least verify it's true. You shouldn't just say, oh, fuck it. Liberal sources first. Conservative sources first. Like, fuck that. Like, no. To me, you just look like a bigger dumbass. In the morning, so my news always comes from the left first. And you would have not known that this was a very tiny rally at first. Because it kept referencing yeah. Charlottesville. What yeah. happened terrible, obviously, last year. You seem to answer your own question, right? It was terrible last year. So what did you think would ex they expect would happen this year? Why do you think they were talking about it? Last year, somebody literally got hit by a car in that. So do you think the next year's is going to be controversial? Come on, use common sense, dude. And no reference of Antifa whatsoever. You know, except for Fox News. They mentioned Antifa. So, hey, of course, also, by the way, no reference to this girl. Oh, Mueller is coming! Not if they f***ing off him! Not if they have the Russians, you know... Okay, but did she run somebody over with her car? That's the thing. They only ever really mention somebody individually. If they do something, that should be individually noteworthy. Are you winded <laughs> from protesting? <laughs> and you're not you're not even counter protesting. <laughs> you're basically just standing. Yeah. <laughs> and it continues. If this motherfucker declares martial law like he wants, there is no voting in November. There is no motherfucking election. <laughs> I love how she just adds mother F and she's like, that's yeah, going to make sure they know the that I'm passionate. Yeah. yeah, that's the serious. She also sounds Canadian, by the way. To be fair, she did think that she was talking to Rocky in movie three. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. It's always good. It's always a good clip. It's always yeah, inspirational. Uh, it's hilarious. She's getting winded with a megaphone. Yeah, the whole point of a megaphone. That's is the, the purpose emotes. of the megaphone. I don't understand. And, like, and someone getting tied with a pedal assist bike. Yeah. She could use some new clothes, though. She should declare Marshall's law. Can somebody please mute his microphone? Owen Benjamin, Benjamin Owens, whatever the fuck his name is. He continues to prove my one video I did on him with Prager as to why he is just not funny. He continues to prove that. That was terrible. That was cringy. That was terrible. It was... A five-year-old could have made a better joke than that. Jesus Christ, with material like this, nobody, no wonder you're not getting reactions at your show. No wonder why. That's terrible. It's not funny. It's it's like a really bad pun. By the way, she goes on to say this. Government come in and give him some of that poison. 
Same poison, by the way, the government gave her last three Tinder dates who stopped <laughs> calling for some reason. What happened to the original uh, topic at hand? You just randomly switched topics to just insult this random lady. Yeah, she's fucking retarded, but still, you've randomly switched topics already to just try to insult them. Steven Crowder, obviously much funnier than um, fucking Owen Benjamin. Benjamin, I don't fucking know what his name is, but... Obviously, much funnier, but still, still kind of bad attempt. Uh, she's never, just kidding. She never had a date with a with a man. I think her poison is corn syrup. What? Does anybody actually find this guy funny? Like somebody in the comments, let me know. Is does somebody find this dude funny? He's not funny. Like his jokes are just missing. It's like nothing, and he, he thinks people are just offended. No, he's just not funny. Like Jesus Christ. Just somebody let me know. Does anybody actually find this guy funny? Cause it's just not funny. It just isn't. <laughs> God damn! If this is the bar to become a comedian, then fuck it. I could fucking run circles around this fucking dude. Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> Aww. I don't. No. no, that's not mean. That's not. That's not. I'm not. It's uh, probably accurate, but it is mean. I, dude, I have to, an extra 20 pounds of syrup on me right now. I I'm, I live the dream. I get it. Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, my God. Do people actually watch this? People Can people actually tolerate these just bad attempts at puns? Do people actually find this funny? Like, my God. Nice, nice save. <laughs> They're like, I applied it to a clearly mentally retarded woman, but now if I use it against myself, yeah, exactly, it's right? Okay. No, she was doing a scene from King Lear. <laughs> she was, she... Like at this point, it's not even a political debate anymore. It's not even a political debate. It's just showing off how unfunny Owen Benjamin or Benjamin Owens or whatever his fucking name is is. It's just showing how unfunny he is. Like Jesus Christ. How how does this guy sell tickets? How? Do people just not know who he is and then just like, ah, fuck it, we'll see a comedian and then the whole time. Marshall Law. Like, my God. Awesome. <laughs> so, to, to answer, by the way, my previous question, I, th I think it's pretty clear that the media's concern isn't America's safety, but obviously yeah. they're, they're, they're trying to get their worldview out there, that Trump's America is a bunch of angry, racist, white, men with tiki torches versus a peaceful coalition of immigrants, Muslims, extremists, and gender, queer, transsexuals. Like, I don't want to provide a no you type of argument here, but do you, do you not see what you're doing? You're doing the same thing with your own agenda. It's not any different. But, but by, by the way, uh, doing pretty well if this is Trump's racist America. Yeah. When you think about it, I was like, well, why are you covering this? I thought all of America was a 20 or 30 at this meetup. Yeah, that's what we were told <laughs> initially. Here's something you can tell by three things they do, uh, the media as far as their agenda. So number one is they, they always emphasize whenever they can find white supremacist yeah. violence. And this is more than whataboutism. So the, the Unite the Right uh, rally, of course, received massive coverage. Massive coverage, despite having an attendance. It's, it's comparable to a ninth, <laughs> ninth grade birthday party. <laughs> Who the fuck is having birthday parties in the ninth grade? By the time I was in the ninth grade, we weren't having birthday parties. We were fucking bitches. Like, my god. We were doing drugs and fucking bitches. Like, Jesus Christ. I know this is just a technicality, but still. And before anybody says, well, what about eighth grade? No, eighth grade, we were trying to get drugs and trying to fuck bitches. That probably wasn't very funny, but you know, whatever. I've had wine tastings that are bigger than that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it was like orca watching, and there was the yeah. same amount of orcas. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> like literally, it's like, and there's the orcas. And like, where the hell I, the I don't even think they're white supremacists. They're just dudes who like need attention. <laughs> Owen Benjamin, by the time he comes up with something funny, he said something that everybody's already said a million fucking times. <laughs> like, <laughs> they if were you, bored, they didn't have anything to do. There was a march. If you need attention and you want to feel like a precious boy, you become a white supremacist <laughs> and be like, all oh, the Antifa are looking at me, Brian. Or remember. <laughs> Of the, or a member of the Westboro Baptist Church, and you send out That's some press true. releases. Good point. There's about 14 members. Two yeah. of them have flippers because they're all doing it with their <laughs> sisters, and they get press. I mean, how often do we hear about the Westboro Baptist? Way, way, way too often. Well, yeah, they were literally protesting soldiers' funerals and shit. That's a big thing. It doesn't matter how many people do something. If it's big enough, the media will cover it. No fucking shit, Sherlock. No one cares. Except the families of those soldiers who had to deal with harassment because they're fucking. Families members' fucking funeral were being fucking protested 
by fucking people who hated gay people. So yeah. the representative, you know why? Because they have the word Baptist in their name. So by the way, again, so if this is Trump's racist America, two dozen turnout, that's a really good sign for <laughs> yeah, everybody out the there. Right direction. And now, another thing they do, of course, is they scrub stories that expose dangers of radical Islam. What do you mean? The media's ate that shit up for like 20 years now. They fucking love stories about radical Islam. They love stories about that. What the fuck do you mean? Radical Islam, just like a white nationalist running somebody over with a car, brings in views, brings in ratings. They love that shit. They love anything that'll bring in ratings. And before anybody goes, because they're losing their ratings. They're not losing their ratings. Any fucking uh, media type company that does TV and shit wants ratings, even if they're doing successful. So, well, of course, the journalists were covering this, this tiny, tiny rally. There was a bombshell story of a New Mexico is Islamist who was, who was training children to commit school shootings. Did you, you read this story, right? Yeah. 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 I, it's incredible. It, when, and nobody, nobody, I saw it on Twitter and almost nowhere else. And it wouldn't say Muslim. It was like, yeah. <laughs> Harak Nabi Mohammed Dubois <laughs> right. was yeah. just a random was guy. Please cut his microphone. <laughs> Please cut his microphone. My God. Please. He's just cringy. He's just making me cringe. He's not funny. He's making me cringe. Hell, it's not even just his jokes at this point. He's just annoying. Like, straight up, he's just annoying. Slash Anderson. <laughs> yeah. No, they're, they're training school shooters, but no, the yeah. fact that I own a rifle is the problem because David yeah. Hogg is on rollerblades and he's sad. I don't think David Hogg has a problem with you owning a rifle unless you plan to school, shoot up a school. Do you plan to shoot up a school? I don't think he has a problem with you then. Like, Jesus Christ. He, he's never, I don't think he's ever directly said, hey, let's take all guns from people. And at the same time, the media does mention when uh, people are training fucking people to shoot up schools. Look at the white nationalist kid. They brought that up when he shot up a school and fucking, I think he claimed some sort of white nationalist thing or whatever. Or somebody, somebody did. Somebody claimed him, one of the two. But he, they mentioned that. They were sure to bring that one up. Well, by the way, he's 18 now, so you can say whatever you want. Yo, I did when, I, when he was 17. I brought it. You want to bring it to me? I'll bring it to you. <laughs> these, you're right, though. Actually, we, we checked back on the initial stories from these news sources. They completely omitted references to Islam or, or the compound's ties, like you said, yeah. with this. And by the way, same thing if you compare the Toronto shooting from my home country, of course. See, you know, they kept hammering the banning of handguns was something they were yeah. talking about a lot. When? When has the media... The mass media, not just some fucking small fucking independent thing that gets like a thousand fucking clicks or whatever. When has something like CNN, NBC, Fox News, when have they sat there and advocated for the banning of handguns? Because the majority of Americans do not believe in that. Sure, a lot of people want semi-automatics banned, but most people do not want handgun bans. Except, like, maybe a very, very small minority. And I've never seen, ever, a mass media company try to um, promote that. Uh, the, the mental health issues, of course, get trotted back out. Didn't know that he was a Muslim shooter who visited ISIS websites prior to the attack. And ISIS, by the way, claimed responsibility <laughs> for the shooting. At the same time, they were sure to cover the Orlando shooting when ISIS claimed they were involved in that shooting. Sure to cover the shooting, the school shooting that the white nationalists claimed, but yeah, one fucking off shooting and they suddenly have this fucking agenda where they're pro-Muslim, even though they've been kind of shitting on Muslims for the past 20 years. That should have been a tip off. Just like, it was yeah. not the white men. Gaming. It was not the white men. It was us, we real bad, hashtag bad dudes. <laughs> was I supposed to laugh? I think he's just trying too hard to be funny. I think maybe that's part of his problem is he's just trying too hard and he's just not naturally funny. All right, guys. Well, I don't really want to work on this video anymore because there's not really much for me to debate with at this point. Anyways, leave a like, leave a comment, slimmer out.